good morning my dear student and welcome you back you know we are in a journey of learning some introductory chemistry and uh, we are continuing the learning of quantum mechanics particularly focusing the engineering student that is why i am not going into the very detail of it but still we will learn something and our also my name will be to get a high score in the exam also okay so today our target is to learn what is actually mean by psi you know during the derivation of the schrodinger equation in last three lectures we have introduced psi actually from the classical wave equation where psi is actually mean the amplitude of the wave now in case of schrodinger equation what is psi at first let me allow to write the schrodinger equation in most simplified form schrodinger equation is equal to e is actually a psi is equal to e psi a psi is equal to e psi where h is the hamiltonian operator hamiltonian operator we will learn the operator after two or three classes okay it is hamiltonian operator and this is also a eigen value equation okay. this is the most simplest form of schrodinger equation now if you extend the hamiltonian operator if you write down the detail of the hamiltonian operator actually the equation will look like this that minus h cross square by twice m del 2 by del x2 plus del 2 by del y2 plus del 2 by del z2 del z2 plus v and this total operator should be acted upon the function state function or wave function psi will be equal to e psi this is the schrodinger equation now you notice here is psi here is psi and here is psi here is psi so what does this psi actually mean in classical wave equation you know actually psi is the amplitude but in case of particle wave equation you know during the derivation of the schrodinger equation actually we have introduced the um, we have introduced the wavelength of the wave by de broglie hypothesis and we have introduced the corresponding particle nature that is if you uh, i i recommend you to to learn the or to listen the uh, schrodinger equation derivative once more then you will be clearer more clearer then actually during the derivation we have introduced the particle character via de broglie hypothesis and actually the psi in classical wave equation is the is nothing but the amplitude now we know during classical wave for example if you consider a wave in of in vibrating string vibrating in, in vibrating string when a string will vibrate we we may get equation like this okay now if we plot amplitude versus say x that is the expansion or contraction etc we may get equation if we plot amplitude and we may get equation uh, graph of plotting like this okay now here actually in vibrating string the material of the string is going above and going down in case of water wave if you consider here also the different molecules or particle of the water is going up and down but here in particle wave what is actually waving what is actually going up and down or something like this actually schrodinger tried to explain this by via electron density he, he tried to explain that electron density may be oscillating in this way so if we it is not schrodinger equation is nothing but a simple differential equation simple differential to second order differential equation if you solve this equation for a particular system we will learn some system for example particle in one dimension a uh, simple harmonic oscillator hydrogen atom etc if you solve this equation we will get psi is equal to something we will get psi is equal to something now if you plot psi for example if you consider a one dimensional uh, system and if you consider that psi is a function of x psi is a function of x only okay then if you plot this uh, we after solving the equation we will get something in terms of x now e, if you plot this psi x psi x psi x against x you may again you may again get a equation like this but where in classical way we know this is the amplitude but wh what is it actually i told you earlier that schrodinger tried to explain this plot by considering the electron density or charge distribution but this is not true this is not true there is a reason i am not going into the detail of that but after few years it is uh, max born who actually gives i gives some suggestion which is nowadays actually uh, accepted worldwide and we'll come to that point later but before that i would like to say another thing is that that amplitude square actually represent in classical wave energy density or you may say the intensity uh, again during the explanation of the photoelectric effect einstein also used psi square as a probability density similar uh, similar expression was given by 
given by max born given by born okay i'm coming please wait for one minute he said that no 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 psi square actually this psi square actually psi square actually modulus of psi square that is the absolute value of psi square actually represent the probability probability density probability density that means probability of the finding at particle at unit space okay probability of finding the particle at unit space space okay now if this be the probability density and if we multiply this and if we consider a one dimensional case so if we multiply this by dx so psi square dx that will actually give you the probability of finding the particle between the distance x and x plus dx x and x plus dx probability of the finding the particle there now now if you try to solve Schrodinger equation you may get even complex number as a solution of the Schrodinger equation so in that case actually psi psi star is used it will be a real number no problem with that and dx will be the probability of the finding the particle between the distance x and x plus x plus dx so this is the this is actually psi actually psi itself has no meaning during these uh, about 100 years nobody has up until been able to explain what is actually psi but psi square has a meaning if you believe it then you can give number of the prediction load of prediction and uh, which have experimentally verified and that is the beauty of Schrodinger equation even Schrodinger had not provided any explanation nobody has provided provide any explanation of what is psi but if you uh, solve Schrodinger equation and get the value and you operate different type of operator on Schrodinger equation you can get a huge number of the physical um, property physical parameter and that can be experimentally verified and in this way Schrodinger equation uh, is really something which is very very beautiful but uh, another thing I want to tell you that so just wait one minute wait one minute I am clearing this canvas okay so if you say plot if you say plot psi say psi is a function of x only okay against x if you plot this you may get a plot like this so here the value of psi is high so probability of finding the electron will be high here here also negative negative although it is negative but we are taking only the modulus or the absolute value so here also the probability of the finding the electron is more here also probability of finding the electron is more again here also probability of finding the electron more so we can get more probability where the value of psi x is greater and if we squaring that we will get naturally the probability of finding the electron very high but at this position the probability of electron will be very low at this position probability of electron is very low but if you would like to verify uh, the Schrodinger equation or psi then you have to take a huge number of you have to do you have to perform a huge number of experiment because you are talking about probability so if you just perform one experiment then it may happen that that probability of finding probability uh, the, uh, the particle is in here here but if you take number of experiment to a huge number of experiments then you will find that here 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 is the probability is more here 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 where the value of psi is very high the probability is more here also more and here practical probability is nil 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 so that is the actually meaning of psi so if this question come in your exam then you have to show you have to tell that psi itself has itself has psi itself has itself has no meaning meaning but but according to according to max born max born psi square mod psi square dx or psi square psi psi star dx in the actually uh, psi psi square dx indicates indicates the number of number of finding number of finding the particle particle between x and x plus